Yo, what's going on guys? Fishhub.com. Today we are going to be doing a catch and cook chain pickle roll. I am very excited. I just got out of school and I decided I'm going to go to Lake Inwinawan and I'm going to do a little bit of chain pickle roll fishing and I'm going to eat that son of a gun. As you can see, I got all the fishing gear on the bike. Got the rod, got the bag, got everything. So we're going to head down there and we're going to go catch some fish. So enjoy the video. All right. So we just pulled up at the lake. We are going, we are going to be biking all the way over to that bridge over there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that is the best spot to fish at. Cause let me tell you now, there are some monster pickerel that are there. They are very aggressive fish. So I'm gonna be in and out of here in no time. Very, very aggressive fish. So I'm gonna bike all the way over there and I'll set up camp. All right, so we just pulled up at the fishing spot right down here. This is usually where I fish when um, I go to Lincoln when, when oh man, I am very, very tired. Take off my bag. I am very, very exhausted. That was a probably like a three mile bike ride, but it was all worth it because now we're right up here. So I got my rod. I'm gonna take everything. Uh, I'm gonna take everything up, set everything up, uh, jig up a rod, um, probably throw a crankbait on, crankbait on there, and just go ahead and cast right away. Uh, all right. So I just got my regular rod here. Already got a little clip attached. Now, pickerel are very, very, very aggressive fish. They will literally, you could throw on, you could throw on anything. You could probably just put a hook in the water and they go after it. But the problem is, is they're so aggressive. If they go after something, they're gonna eat that whole damn thing. So, what I'm going to be doing, so there it is, what I'm going to be doing is I have this little sucker right here. And I know it is, uh, it is pretty big, but actually, hmm, you know what? You know, I think I'm gonna go for this guy. This guy right here. Um, it's This thing is basically like a whole weight, so I'm gonna be able to cast this thing very far. Uh, and it's got a three, it's got a three tread hook right on the bottom. Um, I've actually, almost dropped <laughs> through the crack. Um, I've actually used this before, and surprisingly, it, um, it actually got the job done. So I think I'm just gonna throw this thing on. Um, if that's not working, um, I'm probably gonna throw on one of my crankbaits. But for the meantime, I'm just gonna put this sucker on. Just like that. Cast it straight into the water, hopefully get some bites, and uh, hopefully catch a giant pickerel to bring home Let's get to casting. So before I get to casting, uh, I should go ahead and apologize for uh, the videography in this. I actually lost my GoPro for about a year, but then yesterday I found it and I was like, great. 
I can use this and I can film body cams. But the problem is, I don't have a freaking micro. Ugh. I don't have a freaking micro SD card, so I can't record jack squat with it. So I'm just going to be using my DSLR for now. Um, what I'm probably going to do is just there's a I don't know if it'll focus, but there's just a little strap. I could probably just hang it around my neck and. Whatever, whenever I do stuff, it's going to be out of focus and it's going to be wobbly. So, I'm just going to have to ask you to bear with me. I actually have a micro SD card shipping in tomorrow. Uh, the reason why I wanted to do it, um, why I wanted to go fishing today is because we're expecting some thunderstorms tomorrow. So, I'm probably not going to be able to go. But, uh, hopefully this will work out nicely. So without further ado, let's put this sucker in the water. All right, guys. So while I was fishing, I was kind of—I kind of looked in this direction, and I actually noticed. I got to be very careful here. Those things right there are eggs. Um, I don't know what kind of eggs. They might be turtle eggs. Actually, I think they are turtle eggs. Um, I believe what what happened is the. Uh, the uh, turtles climb up, climb up these rocks, this uh, all this concrete, and they just lay their eggs right on the lip. That's actually uh, that's actually quite cool. All right, so the bridge, or not the bridge, the uh, this little spot right here isn't working too well. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast by the bridge. Um, there are still fish here like in this general uh, general area. There's like a lot of fish So I'm gonna cast right down there and just kind of let it go by hopefully catch some All right, so All right, so This little guy that I have on here isn't really working too well I'm getting bites, but the problem is I think it's I think this is a little too big so I'm just gonna go with all reliable and I'm just gonna throw on one of my crankbaits instead. We just reeled in the first fish. We just reeled in the first fish of the day. All right. He's a he's actually a pretty nice size. I don't know if I want to keep him though. He is a tad bit small. I'm really not sure. I'm kind of contemplating it. I'm not really going to get much meat out of this. He's a little bit young, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw him back, try and catch something, something a little bit bigger. But it's always a good sign. Anyways, let's keep on going. Oh, my God. Guys, I just caught a big one. Oh, my God. He is really big. Holy God. Oh my god, guys. He is a monster. He is an absolute monster. Oh my. Oh man. This guy is big. Sorry, I can't point the camera at him right now. Oh, I gotta get this sucker on shore. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, he's big. Oh, he's really big, guys. Oh, sorry, I'm not pointing the camera. Oh, 
Oh man, this is probably my personal best. Look at that. Look at him. Look at him. I am putting, I am literally putting my foot next to him. Oh boy. Oh, oh this thing is gonna be good. Let's go, guys. Oh man. Oh yes. He is really big. Wow. Oh boy. Step on the line here so it doesn't get away. Wow. Look at him. He is a monster. Look at those teeth too. Look at him. He's big. All right, I don't want him. The point of smashing his head in, in a, with a rock is so you completely, you completely knock him out cold and he doesn't have to suffer. Wow, he's big. This, this has got to be one of my personal best fish. But without further ado, you know what it is. If you're squirmish, please look away. Basta la vista. All right, so I just got done playing these guys. Very nice meat. So we're gonna get our bag. Just do one final little dump of water. Make sure they're nice and clean. And what we're gonna do, is I don't have my cooler on me, but since I'm not really traveling too far, and it's not like I'm letting them sit for hours, I'm just gonna grab the fillets, stick them right in a Ziploc bag. Just like that. Now, they're ready to go. All right guys, I would say that's a pretty successful trip. Got some nice pickerel. I'm gonna bring them back to the house and cook them up. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. <sighs> Get a cutting board. Get a cutting board. DSLR camera unfortunately died, so we're gonna have to just use my iPhone for now. But what we're gonna do, get our panko breadcrumbs. What I usually like to do is just make things simple. Lay them out right on the cutting board. We're just gonna get our little piece, dip it in some egg whites. Then, get our filet, dip it in breadcrumbs, stick that sucker right in there. So, then we're gonna do the same thing, rinse and repeat, get the filet, soak it up, grab it. Into the breadcrumbs. right on to the pan and do the same thing again. This one has a bit there. I'm gonna wash it right off. Get all that water off. Same thing. Why egg whites. Right into crumbs. Yeah, the right crumbs. Straight into the bread crumbs. Right in the pan. Now we're gonna let that cook, cook, and I'm gonna get right back to you guys. 
All right, guys, so the chain picker just came off of the fryer. Now, before we go and eat that, what I actually like to do with the extra egg whites, get breadcrumbs. Put breadcrumbs in the whites. And just mix it around. All right, now bear with me. Bear with me on this. Get into a nice little neat pile. What you're gonna do, stick it right on there. Just like that. Basically what you made yourself is a little breadcrumb nugget. So delicious. I'm gonna let that fry for a little bit. And once that's done, I'm gonna put it right on the plate, maybe add a little bit extra, and then we're gonna do a little taste test. All right, so we just got done cooking the chain pickerel, and as you guys can see, it looks so freaking delicious. So, we got three pieces here. This is the one piece. This is the second piece. This is the third piece. And then this is that panko breadcrumb egg white mix thing that we had for dipping today. I'm just gonna be using some soy sauce. I love me some pickerel and soy sauce. So unbelievably good. But get one final view of the whole setup. Got it right here. Now let's give it a little taste test. All right. Cheers. Wow, this is so unbelievably good. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's so good. Let me get a better view here. pick a little bone but let me just tell you this is so unbelievably good so good I would have to say if there's a lake nearby your house that you know has pickerel in it I would so go catch and cook one of those things. They are so unbelievably delicious. Let's get a little, let's open this thing up. Nice white flaky meat. Dip it. Oh my God. So. So unbelievably good. And let me just tell you right now, for me, that three mile bike ride, carrying my fishing pole, my fishing bag, and my equipment bag, all worth it. This is absolutely delicious. Got a little taste of that. 
egg white panko breadcrumb mix. I cooked it just perfect. I don't know if you guys can see, but it is just gooey and delectable, and it's cooked right. When it's overcooked, then it's then the consistently consistency is basically like the top part. But when it's cooked just right, it's nice and gooey. It's so good. Let me try dipping it. And soy sauce. Oh. So good. Anyways, I'm probably going to finish eating this up off camera. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoy my videos, please leave a like down below. Leave a comment. And make sure you subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you in the next episode. Fishhub.com is out.